Tesla's accountants can look back on the past year with satisfaction. Indeed, the automaker closed the last quarter of 2021 with a record profit. Nevertheless, Tesla states in a statement that the problems surrounding the chip shortage have not left the company unaffected. Quite a sum if you ask us. Could it have been a bit more if Elon Musk did allow the Cybertruck to go into production? Tesla achieved record profits in the fourth quarter in all of 2021 thanks to a sharp increase in the number of electric vehicles delivered. But first, we want to welcome you to the world of Tesla. If you're interested in topics like Tesla, SpaceX, or Elon Musk, you're at the right place. So let's watch the video and don't forget to land your finger on the subscribe button and press the bell icon so that you will be notified each time we have some new content for you. Tesla put in quite a final sprint in the last quarter of last year. The company delivered a record 308,600 cars, bringing Tesla close to the million mark for all of 2021. As a result of that production spurt, revenue rose 65% in the final quarter. Profits, however, rose much faster at 760%. The strong earnings growth is due in part to the factory it commissioned in Shanghai, where it can produce cars more cheaply. Tesla previously indicated that the Chinese factory is important for its cars that end up outside of America. Indeed, the automaker closed the final quarter of 2021 with a record profit of $2.3 billion. The American company in the Texas city of Austin earned $5.5 billion last year. In 2020, net income was still $3.47 billion. We won't introduce any new vehicle models this year. That would not make sense because we would still be limited in parts, Musk says. The top executive says overall output would drop if the company introduced a new model. The top executive does indicate that it continues to work on the Cybertruck, Semi, and Roadster, among others. The company hopes to put those vehicles into production next year. Despite not introducing any new models in 2022, Musk does indicate that he expects growth to be comfortably above 50%. The company is currently conducting equipment tests at its new plants in Texas and Berlin, where it plans to introduce the Model Y. The first models from the Texas factory are nearing completion, according to the company, and Tesla expects to deliver those models after they're certified. So Tesla will not introduce new models because of the shortage of chips this year. Could that mean the Cybertruck will not go into production again this year? Yes, unfortunately, that is true. Back in the summer, Tesla was still calling for production of the Cybertruck to start in 2022. At the time, that also meant a delay. But that's not all. The press reports that the very distinctive electric truck will only come off the assembly line at the end of the first quarter of 2023, more than a year from now. The delay is said to be due to the fact that Tesla has not yet finished the development and test work. The shortage of chips also plays a role. That Tesla puts out a good product is rather important because the Cybertruck will certainly not be the only electric pickup on the market in 2023. Ford has its F-150 Lightning. GM has the GMC Hummer EV and the Silverado EV. And then there are newcomers like Rivian and Fisker. The Cybertruck remains a unique vehicle within this range. Tesla presented its electric pickup in 2019. The innovative Americans always show a new product earlier than is usual with the competition, so some waiting time is not in itself crazy. Neither is the delay, but in the case of the Cybertruck, it is somewhat untimely in the face of increasing competition. Despite the delayed production of the Cybertruck and chip shortages, Tesla posted great results the last quarter of 2021. In a statement, Tesla states that these numbers could have been even better if the chip shortage had not thrown a spanner in the works. Like other automakers, Tesla is facing shortages of parts and chips. According to the EV builder, this is the main factor slowing down production. Tesla expects the problems to persist for the foreseeable future. Also, a while back, Tesla promised to bring a small electric car to market for $25,000. That too will not happen for the time being, indicates Elon Musk. Presumably, Tesla will focus primarily on the best-selling cars. Worldwide, this is the Tesla Model 3, and in 2020, Tesla sold almost half a million of these cars. Many enthusiasts are very bummed that no new model will go into production this year. 
especially for those who ordered the Cybertruck in 2019, will unfortunately have to wait another year longer. Whether this will be beneficial for Tesla remains to be seen. Presumably, they will be able to suffer some damage. Tesla's profits don't just come from selling cars. Because Tesla makes cars that on paper emit no CO2, it can sell emission allowances to car manufacturers, who, in turn, can use them to meet their CO2 targets. However, Tesla's revenue from this is falling significantly. In the last quarter, the sale of emission rights generated $310 million converted into revenue, 22% less than a year earlier. For Tesla, 2021 was a breakthrough year. Musk said during a conference call with analysts, there should no longer be any doubt about the viability and profitability of electric vehicles, Tesla wrote in a letter to shareholders. In the fourth quarter of 2021, the company earned $2.32 billion. Excluding special items such as share-based compensation, the company earned $2.5 billion per share. That was more than the $2.36 per share Wall Street had expected. Quarterly revenue of $17.7 billion was also higher than analysts had expected. They assumed $17.13 billion. Tesla delivered a record 936,000 vehicles last year, almost double what the company delivered in 2020. Furthermore, Musk expects the full self-driving software package to eventually become Tesla's main revenue source. Tesla vehicles are equipped with the hardware to drive autonomously, but users must purchase that package separately. In doing so, the top executive talks about robot cabs. In time, the company wants to offer self-driving Tesla cars as cabs. Currently, that's not possible because Teslas are not yet able to drive fully autonomously without any input from humans. Musk, in explaining his quarterly results, says that the company expects to achieve that this year. However, the company previously missed deadlines for this that were predicted by Musk. Despite another delay in Tesla's new models, it has set some new goals for 2022. We can't wait for these predictions to become a reality. Are you interested in more content about Tesla, SpaceX, or Elon Musk? Then you've come to the right place. Make sure to subscribe to our channel, leave this video a like, and comment. Thanks for watching the world of Tesla, and see you next time. Now, we're, now we've got the line. We've got the line down. It's you like have to red alert, and then I get pulled on my cell phone at two in the morning, and it's yeah, like yeah, not a lot we're of like fun. Trying to fly apart from Germany. It's like we literally had that two days ago. An extreme libertarian, uh, and thinks the government should not do anything. I just think we should. Um, minimize what the government does because the, the government's efficiency at spending is is just going to be that's black black yeah it actually varies by country um, oh, interesting. like 